Hey there, students. So I think since OSCON, I've developed a kind of a blockchain approach to these YouTubes in that I I um, cipher them together by reviewing what I've done. And so if there's any missing YouTubes, it's going to be pretty obvious whether that matters or not. It also just keeps the chronology more clear. So the last two I've done most recently, I've now embedded in my blog at Blogspot. It's a Google service. I've been using it many years. I've read some horror stories about just specious deletions. So I do feel uh, vulnerable on many fronts. I can't deny it. The internet is a fragile place. And I think fragility is what's valuable and easy to destroy. Like we can build these fragile things that take a long time to create and then destroy them immediately, quickly. It's like destruction is so fast and efficient compared to, it seems, creation sometimes. How, how come it's like that, I wonder? Anyway, um, here's my question. Establishing that this breakthrough in whole number volumes is one of Fuller's key contributions, where has it been taught since the last 40 years, since the publication of Synergetics. I think it's arrogant for me to think, okay, I'm a smart guy, I went to Princeton, I studied philosophy. Sure, I would read Synergetics, but so would a lot of people. And so who else out there has been teaching the whole number volumes in some detail the way I have? And like I'm asking about West Point in particular, because before you go into some meaningless war with your own people, you're going to want to know that you've done enough homework to know that you really need to be doing this. It's not just uh, a meaningless exercise based on the fact that uh, people have been too lazy to just share some very good curriculum with you. Like, you don't want to be exploited to that level. So at some level... If you go to West Point, you've got to be asking yourself, do I already know this, and if not, why? And if I already know this, maybe you want to collaborate. Like, I'm looking for more people who are teaching this stuff and maybe want to swap curriculum materials. Like, maybe you've got the Hypertune thing going. I have a lot of interest when I give a talk in show and tell and showing people things they might not have seen before because yes there's novelty in that so yes I do want to collaborate if you're in the military I think that's a patriotic thing for me to say so if you're thinking ooh that's scary it isn't really yes I'm a Quaker but if you read the history of Quakers they've always had excellent relationship uh, with the military. I mean, that's a very broad breaststroke. I'm sorry. Um, also, a lot of people, when they end their military career, they join the Quakers. So I know a lot of veterans for peace, but maybe not that. Maybe they're, uh, they don't have to be a member of any organization formally. But I know quite a few um, military career people in the Quakers. And one reason they join the Quakers is they don't feel shunned or like somehow second class or, you know, there's some people actually, you know, try to hold it against you one way or another, just the mere fact that you were in the military. And I think the Quakers are not like that usually. I mean, it depends, obviously. Again, this is all very broad brushstroke, but I just wanted to raise the question where are we bothering to teach what I call Philosophy 101 or American Philosophy 101? What do I call it here? I call it, you know, because I've been around the block enough times to know that even if it were only streamlining the volumes of polyhedra, the fact that you're touching the Platonic Five and doing anything with them that's new or original, uh, that's just crazy important. I just know that from being a student of Western civilization and Eastern civilization. So I know this stuff is important and that it checks out. So now the story becomes 
who's sitting on it, and I don't want to be have finger pointing saying, Kirby, you knew all this stuff. Why didn't you just say it? Why didn't you just tell us? And I could say, well, I've had websites since the 90s. I've hardly been quiet about it. But you're going to go like, well, what about YouTube? You could have done it on YouTube. People watch YouTube. And I'm, okay, I got to that in 2018, November. I made a commitment to do a lot of YouTubes. And I did over 300. I did a ton. So now the YouTubes are done. So what do you want me to do next? A movie? A movie about Asylum City? Well, you read my mind. That's what I like to do, too. So again, looking for collaborators going forward. I don't need this to be some kind of personal... Uh, you know, journey. I, I like having collaborators, and I have a long history of collaborating. It wouldn't be the first time, right? So this is a generic, uh, yeah, let's work together type YouTube. All right, let's talk again. Bye-bye.